And Hasselbeck is going to go deep for Darrell Jackson, who makes the reception and goes out of bounds. Sean Springs was beaten by Darrell Jackson. Sean Alexander has carried only once. Here is his second attempt. Fumbles. And the Redskins may have recovered. They do. So Sean Alexander fumbles, and the Redskins get it on the 10. It was Lamar Marshall. There he is, third and eight from the 13 in Burnell's pass and off the hands of Taylor Jacobs. Defending was Andre Dyson. Third down and six. Straight drop back by Burnell, gets hit. And it is ruled an incomplete pass, Rocky Bernard. Alexander cutting up field and Alexander will lose yardage and the Redskins and a fumble. And recovered initially. It's Tampa Bay. I don't know right now. They're flying around out there. And Derek Frost with a high kick this time and bobbling the ball and losing it. And the Redskins may have recovered it. Pearson Prelo has recovered the muff. And John Hall has given the Redskins the lead. He's on the bench, which is huge for the Seahawks. Hasselbeck looking for a receiver, and it's tipped away and almost picked off by Carlos Rogers. Maurice Morris flaring from the backfield. The game, he played more coverage. I wouldn't be surprised to see the Redskins start to, to bring some pressure. Maurice Morris will run for his second first down. They need one. And here's Morris. He's got it. Morris is second. And a first down at the 29-yard line. Play action. And going deep for Jackson. Touchdown. It's Sean Taylor. Meanwhile, time. And the catch by Joe Jurevicius. Hasselbeck had enough time. Great blitz pick up that time, and Jurevicius. And get their hands up. They're actually getting penetration and putting pressure on Matt Hasselbeck. Third down from the five. Hasselbeck running from the pocket. Will try to make it in there. He'll get the first down. He'll get the touchdown. And Alexander leads the cheers. Matt Hasselbeck with a six-yard run for the score. And Brunel's going to go down. Bryce Fisher, four-yard loss. So Josh Brown on to attempt a 33-yard field goal. And the kick is good. So Brown, who missed the chance to win a 47-yard field goal contest in Washington. Mark Brunel. Play action. And his pass wide open is Chris Cooley into Seattle territory. Cooley, who does not have a world of speed, however, gets to the 22-yard line. A big 51-yard pass play on first down. He can duck H back. Third down and six. And Brunel, he's chased from the pocket and fires across play, and it's knocked away. Oh. And it's caught for the touchdown. Santana Moss. Moss makes the catch off the deflection. And the Redskins get their first touchdown of the game. Scoring drive, 76 yards, all 76 accounted for by Chris Cooley and Santana Moss. Two of the three threats along with Portis going in. Scobie on the return, loses the ball. And the scramble is on. Wait for the official signal. I tell you, if the Seahawk comes out of that pile with it, he's, he's a heck of a man to be down there. Just that, third down and four. And Brunel's pass off the hand. Of Santana Moss. And he misses, hooked it. John Hall misses a 36 yard field goal. Here comes that pressure. Back strong. First down. A lot more. Yeah. Max Strong gets an opening. And that's one of the things you talked about, the audibles by Matt Hasselbeck. Josh Brown will attempt a 31-yard field goal. And the kick is good. And the Seahawks now lead by a score of 20 to 10. They've got to get up to the 36 to stay alive. 
Mark Brunel looking downfield, fires it up. Santana Moss makes the catch to the 40-yard line of Seattle. From the 33. And Brunel going for everything in the end zone. And it's unable to hold on to it was Moss. He looked like he had it and it bounced out. Final score, the Seahawks 20, the Redskins 10. Seattle move on to the NFC Championship game and we'll be back here at Seattle following these messages.